Hey, uh, it's been a while. Glorious Fortress is going well. If you don't know what that is, it's a Geometry Dash level I've been working on for a, for a bit now. Last episode, 100 hour me got quite a lot done, an entire two and a half parts. And now it's the job of 200 hour me to pick up where he left off. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm such an organized builder, because if I wasn't- oh! So, if you look at these hours, we have reached 100 hours. I am beyond 100 hours working on this level, which is kind of a lot. So yeah, we're on to the second 100 hours. I, I went back in and added some like pulses and stuff off stream, as you can see here. Add some lines flashing past. Just add, adds a little bit of energy. Anyway, I do have an idea for background. Now, while the old jam made a pretty cool background using these clouds, it doesn't really feel that fortressy. And what says fortress better than a bunch of random spears? I tried a couple designs for the spearheads, but I eventually landed on this cool trick. A bunch of objects in this game have both a base and a detail color, and if you set the base to invisible, you get some pretty cool designs. This one right here makes a triangle, so that's what I used. Scattered a bunch of these around. Yeah, that's the spirit. To help add more energy, I placed a few glow circles that move by really fast. You really don't need a lot of them to get the effect. Added some pulses. That looks pretty cool. And then I made these gears in the foreground, zooming past really fast, helping add to the sense of speed. Animated sparks come out every time they turn, which makes it feel like it really takes effort. And of course, we can't forget the golden rule, thou shalt buffer. I explained this in my last video, but if you click before an orb and hold your input, you'll still activate that orb if you're still holding, which is a gimmick this part relies on quite a lot. Spruced up the text and darkened the screen everywhere else to help draw attention to this commandment. Well, that was a lot, but all for day one at 104 hours of work. Oh, by the way, I get a lot of questions about this. I can see my time spent on levels because I use a mod called Better Info. It's a pretty cool mod if you have Windows, I don't, I don't know if it's for other devices. Also, along those lines, if my editor looks weird, I use another mod called Better Edit. Anyway, uh, day two. Having finished the first half of this part, I worked on the base for the next half, a bit of a corridor. To make things consistent, I used this same wood design from earlier, and of course the spikes stayed the same too. Made a wall in the background and added these window frames. And after my stream ended, I added a bunch of movement and energy to make this part really feel alive. There was still a lot of stuff left to do, but day two ended at 108 hours of work. Day three. I didn't get to finish the movement on day two, so I went ahead and did that really quick. So one thing people seem to like about my levels is how my indicators usually have a cool animation to them. Because I find like one thing that's cool about Jam's levels is the arrows telling you where to go always look really cool. Like in Jam Factory, there's like the spinning signs that look animated that are so awesome. Anyway, here's some more of those. <laughs> you guys really seem to like these. I just did this for the vine. Final thing I did day three was the sweeping hexagon effect. Yeah, you know, this took way, <laughs> this took way too long to do, dude. 113 hours is where we're at. Day 4 isn't in the slightest bit interesting, I worked on the level for about 10 minutes, but day 5, however, is interesting, although I still didn't really accomplish anything. Look, I don't know what I was going for either, calling it the Grimace meta. But don't you worry, on day 6 I magically remembered how to build again. It can happen. Here's some more vines, and no I won't stop spamming them everywhere. The next thing I did was make these cool borders so I wouldn't have to decorate the stuff they cover. Strategy. And finally made sure not a single detail doesn't move in some kind of way. Alright, it's looking cool. I like this. This is good. Oh yeah, my hours. We're at a humble 117, meaning it only took four hours to decorate an entire two seconds of gameplay. Record pace. More block design on day six. Tried mixing a few different designs together, and yeah, no, it looks pretty cool. You guys think I'm using too many vines? Nah. Anyway, the background's a bit lacking. This part could use some more stuff there. Yeah, perfect. And of course, since I added new stuff, obviously I have to make it all move. Ah, that's better. Not a still object in sight. Ooh, yeah, that looks clean. The way that transitions in the next part, I like that. Oh, that has so much energy. Day six ended with 120 hours of work. The background still needed a little bit more, so I did some painting on days seven and eight. Took a while to get this right. I'm not much of a traditional artist. But with that said, no, I'm proud of this. Only took me, uh, seven hours, apparently. Look, I'm gonna be honest, I think that's just better info being weird. I'm not quite that bad at art. 
don't worry about it. It it does that sometimes, but it's pretty rare, and to be honest, the time I spend playtesting probably makes up for it in the long run. Either way, it's on to day 9. This would be no jam attack level without a weirdly complicated parallax effect, so got that covered now. Hey, that's pretty cool. You know what else is cool? Doing drugs. <laughs> Oh, that timing, man. Someone needs to clip that. <laughs> Day 9 over with 131 hours of work. And if I'm not mistaken, this part's done. There were a couple hiccups along the way, but overall that went really, really smoothly. And the thing is, I don't think that's entirely luck or entirely my own skill. Things are just easier when you already have something to work off of. But now it's time to start fresh with the first new part of this video. And if I were you, I don't think I'd expect me to get this one first try. Right now, we're decorating this ball part. Day 10 started off simple enough with these cracked tiles. Got a bit more interesting of a shape to the structures so they're not just like rectangles. And that's all great, but this is also where I started to make some strange decisions. For my first attempt at block design, I used these brick objects layered like this. Worked for my level cellar path, so it should work here. And I mean, that's not bad. For the spikes, I tried this tech design. Not really sure what I was going for. Okay, yeah, no, that's better. 134 hours on day 10. We're making progress. For day 11, I started on the background. Eh, yeah, but who cares about that? I got something way cooler to show you. It's a it's a glorious morning night core remix. <laughs> Dude, this shit slaps. There's, I, I was looking for like royalty free, or not royalty free, but like copyright free glorious morning covers. And I found gl glorious morning night core. Pause the soothing jazz, I need a melodic heart attack. Well, you're gonna get one. <laughs> Uh man, immediately opens up to that image. All right, you're, you guys are gonna love this. This is quite the experience. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Literally me when I play Glorious Fortress at 1.3 times speed. This slaps on mute. Anyway, I did more block design too, I guess. But my antics weren't quite over. Oh no, me and my stream went on a geometry dash field trip. You guys ready for a field trip to the Victorian courtyards? You guys always love a good Geometry Dash field trip. Yeah, let's look at Victorian courtyards together. I like the Minecraft swords in this level, by the way. Very, very bold and meaningful choice. After getting some inspiration for later, I did some more work on the background, and that was it for day 11. We are sitting at 145 hours. Day 12, I just placed more bricks. This almost feels like real manual labor. This design looks pretty cool, but my goal for this part is an overgrown courtyard, so on day 13 I started to work on the overgrown part. These rock tile things make great moss. And no, yeah, all things considered, I was pretty happy with how this was turning out. That looks so good! Yo, yo, that looks so good! I'll probably add it to the foreground structures as well. And so that's what I did. Basically the same as the background. But then, disaster struck. I didn't like what I made. Like, it looks good, but it's so detailed. No! Oh, man. The thing is, I like this part, but it just doesn't really fit with the rest of the level. So I started fresh. Started off similar enough with the same rock tiles and shape, but that's about where the commonalities end. Yeah, I took this in a completely different direction. One problem I had with the original version is that this part is supposed to be an open courtyard, but in that version, there's ground spikes on the ceiling and structures just kind of hanging from it. Yeah, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Took me a long time to figure out how to fix that, but eventually I settled with grass just on the bottom and these bits of walls connecting the structures on the bottom and top. By the way, this was all still on the same day. I should probably clarify, I don't know how I did this much stuff. No idea how many hours I spent since I backed up to an earlier version, but oh, oh well, I guess it makes up for better info adding random hours sometimes. Day 15, new fit goes hard, rate the drip. By the way, I have to ask you guys, do you like my colors? I tried to choose the most visually assaulting, horrible icon colors for my alt account, and I think I succeeded in that. Anyway, mostly worked on expanding my block design. Added these shiny vines to the top as a way of killing the player. That's about it for day 15 at 148 hours of work. 
On day 16, I started work on the background. There's gonna be a few layers to this. These brick things in the middle ground, which I really like these, and these hills further in the background, which... Eh, they do the job. And that's all I did day 16, bringing me to 152 hours of work. With the block design and background for this part pretty much figured out, on day 17 I worked on little atmospheric details. These god rays and particles help bring the part to life. And then I worked on expanding this part into the spider section. This bit of structuring right here was kind of weird, so I fixed it. Apparently in doing that, I made an optional frame perfect, which is kind of funny. Whoa, it is possible. Wait, it actually is possible. It is a frame perfect. This is so much more important than decorating, guys. I'm glad this is what we're doing right now. <laughs> there we go. I got it. I, I genuinely think that is a 360 FPS frame perfect. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Also, on the topic of this bit, I needed a way to decorate these single floating blocks. Planter boxes seemed pretty good. That was it for day 17. Yeah, this is definitely coming together. We are at 156 hours of work. Day 18, I added more structures in the background, and yeah, that was about it. Bit of an uneventful day. Though I should mention, this is the first of many days I started to use my brand new icon set. I uh, yet yeah, no, this time I'm actually serious. This custom cube was made by Cyan Flower, and oh my god, it looks so good! I made a couple small modifications, but really not that much, and tried to pick other icons that fit in with it pretty well. Oh yeah, my hours. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I totally forgot to screenshot them. Recording's like 20 minutes long. Here, have this spinning duck instead. But with that all said, that brings us to the final day I worked on this part. At least for now. Eventually, I have a pretty cool transition planned for the start of this part, but it's pretty complicated, so I'll save that for later. Day 19 started off with these window frames. They looked kinda weird, so I did something different. This here is both less objects, and it looks better. For the rest of the day, I just touched up some bits and bobs, like extending this grass and adding arrows. Also, uh, more planter boxes. Dude, I just got so much stuff to plant. Ooh, I'm a fan of this one. Day 19 done, with 159 hours of work. But now, with this warm and vibrant courtyard completely built, it's time to trudge on into the dark and cold woods. We must not rest on this unforgiving path. Today is day 20 of this 100 hour trek. The path ahead is dark and very hard to see, so I laid some foundations to show me the way. Anyway, this part's fun. You know all these textured blocks in the first tab? Well, I've been using those a lot here, and they look pretty cool, but there just aren't really that many of them. So let me ask you, have you ever thought of making your own texture kind of like one of these? Yeah, of course you haven't. You're a sane individual. But I'm not. If you layer a bunch of fading lines like these, it kind of looks like bark. Now all I have to do is fill several large, very weirdly shaped structures with these. Shouldn't take too long. A measly three hours later, and I've managed to fill an entire two structures. What the hell is wrong with me? Anyway, here's a fun little trick. These lines with their normal colors are kind of hard to see, so what you can do is place temporary color triggers like this to make all the lines stand out a lot more. I like to disable these by switching them to spawn triggered. Anyway, day 21 was more of the same. Oh wait, no, th this part's my favorite. You gotta wait for it. Oh, it's really good. And... Ah, oh, did you see that? Did you see me place that object? Oh my god, that was such a good placement. I did do one other thing that day, working on the coin route for this part. It's nothing that crazy, you just go inside this block and there's a coin hiding inside. I'll add some cracks or something later to indicate that. Day 21 done, with 169 hours of work. You know what, it's okay, I think this part looks great, and I even almost finished filling the structures with these lines. You will never guess what I did day 22. Placed a few outlines, I mean, I guess that was cool. Day 22 complete, with only 171 hours of work. Jonathan GD would be proud. On day 23, I started working on the spikes, gears, and other bits. I wanted to go for a coppery look, gotta keep that steampunk vibe going. Why I chose to add steampunk stuff to a medieval fortress level, I'm still not entirely sure. Looks pretty cool though. I think what I like most about this is the colors. Got that college sports vibe going. Yo, this actually kinda looks sick. Just, I wasn't feeling it, and just all of a sudden it looks great. This color scheme, I am loving this color scheme. This is actually like so good, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. It's been a grind, but it's been worth it. The end of day 23 brings us to 175 and a half hours of work. I'm really happy with how it's turning out, not gonna lie. No, I am gonna lie, I hate it. I'm gonna lie to all of you. 
Anyway, with a strong bass on the block design, it's always a good time to represent the song. This part of the song has a flute track that goes like this. I was thinking some metal birds that pop out of the blocks would fit these airy sounds. The rest of Day 24 was spent on these background walls to help tie the structures together. This day has brought me to 185 hours of work. But with the foundations of this part laid down, the grind has just begun. Ah, man, I got so much stuff left to do. I better get a lot done next stream. Guess it's gonna be a bit of a longer one. Eh, it shouldn't be too long, though. Oh, we gotta work on Glorious Fortress. I don't like building this level. I started off day 25 by writing a massive list of all the things I needed to do. I'm sure I'll knock out a few of them. Finishing my block design. That went well. Wasn't a lot to do for it. Gear connectors. Having gears just floating midair looks kind of weird, so I added some beams that they're attached to. Did this right here in my level cellar path as well. These hand objects make great ornate decorations. Yeah, this all looks a lot more complete now. We've got a lot done this stream. Definitely been a long one. I think that'll do. Okay, looks like we'll be doing about a five hour stream and I'll probably end. All right, we're gonna work on the background next. Aha, looks like I took you for a fool. Did you really think five hours was enough? Anyway, the background took some trial and error. I wanted to do something similar to this background in Thorns and Brambles. My first attempt looked kinda weird. And this looked better, but it's still way too busy. But after a while, I finally settled on a design I liked. Made some slightly different variations, and then copied and pasted these all around. How dare he copy-paste, burn him at the stake. Final result looks pretty nice. Yeah, this is really coming together. On to pulses. That one didn't take very long, and I also forgot to save footage of it. Now time for gear spark. Whoop! Oh, now time for gear sparks. You might remember that these gears back here sent sparks flying every time they turned. And why reinvent what already works? Oh yeah, that adds a lot of energy. It's foreground effect time. You guys' favorite. Placing some multicolored glow quickly moving past adds a lot of life and charm. On top of that, I wanted some fast moving shapes in front of everything to add a sense of speed. But with that all done, it's been about seven hours, and I think it's finally time this stream came to an end. I can officially say I've done a seven hour creating stream. That's kind of a lot for me. <laughs> we got a lot done. Oh, hey, John. <laughs> Wait, Jonathan GD's raiding me. Oh no, that means I have to stream more. All right, never mind. I should go for a 16 hour stream, yeah. You, you know how fun those are. Well, looks like I'm placing flowers now. Wasn't exactly how I planned on spending the rest of my day. After that, I worked on some birdhouses for my mechanical birds to not live in. These actually have nothing to do with each other. They look cool though. <laughs> but I'm serious this time, this stream has gone on for way too long. I've been streaming for eight and a half hours. Figured I might as well get that to nine, but the problem is I kind of may or may not have finished the entire part, so uh, I had these chains back here that needed some optimizing. Not really the most interesting content. Anyway, stream's over. No, I'm, I'm actually serious. One more play from zero, and then we're <laughs> we're done for real. For real this time, okay, for real. I don't think I've ever studied for this long. I don't think I've ever had a shift that lasted this long. This is the longest, <laughs> longest I've ever done anything, <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh. And so with day 25 completely done, our journey has almost reached 192 hours of work. This path was not one of trivialities, but with hard work and determination, I've pushed through further than I ever really thought I could. And now, this part is still not done. Oh no, far from it. But I can see a light at the end of the forest, and I just have a feeling. That's where our journey really begins. So let's buckle down and give it our all. We're so close, just a little bit more before we arrive at the most glorious part of this journey. That part will be for another time. But let's finish this part once and for all so that we can be ready when- Oh fuck. God damn it, I forgot the transition. <sighs> Hold on guys, I'm sorry, we gotta go back and do that. Day 26. Good a day as any to transition. This is what the transition here currently looks like. Not exactly the most glorious. The part before ends on this 3D wall, so it only makes sense to put another one of these on the other side. Yeah, it's a work in progress. This was honestly kind of confusing to do on stream, so I just went ahead and ended this day after two more hours of work. 
two hours in which I basically accomplished nothing. By day 27, I started to get my stuff together again. Just took me a while to figure out how this effect is even supposed to work. Trust me when I say that this took so much trial and error. I'm honestly not even really sure what's going on on the screen right now, but it apparently worked. Here's what it looks like now. It's a wall, it works, um... Day 27 done, with about three hours left to go. And now, it's time for the last day of this video. Day 28. Made myself a checklist starting things off, those seemed to help me. Adding an outline. Was pretty easy to do, except the spots where the wall intersects the grass, those were a little weird. Then the next thing to do was make a cracking effect. I don't know if you noticed right now, but the player just kind of phases through the wall. <laughs> And oh my god, selecting these objects is a goddamn nightmare! But with enough blood, sweat, and tears, I got the effect working. Although, there's still a lot more it needs. And so I proceeded to add about a billion things to my list. It's fine, I'm sure I can get through all of these in two hours. Made a small explosion using some blending glow. Someone in my chat, sorry I can't find the message, gave me the idea to have shattered bits of this ball portal go flying when you break through. I like that idea, it's pretty cool. So I did the only reasonable thing and made an exact replica of the regular ball portal. And no, I mean exact. I spent over an hour on this. I wanted to be streaming when I hit 200 hours, but uh, my Wi-Fi had other plans. I don't mean to be egotistical, but I, I do think this level is like pretty decent. I'm just I could have waited till tomorrow to finish this up, but I didn't really want to. But I did finish the ball portal off stream, eventually. Now I can split this thing up into a bunch of smaller pieces, and as long as that took to make, animating it actually might be the hard part. Oh no, yeah, I'm sure this makes perfect sense to you. It's quite simple, really. Oh wait, crap. That's 200 hours. Eh, we can go over a little bit. Look, I make the rules. Anyway, this part is actually pretty sick. The final thing I did before bringing this last day to a close was make an animated explosion to give the player hitting the wall a bit more impact. Took a bit of tweaking, but this is where the transition's at. I might touch up a few things later, but this is good for now. And I'm afraid we're a bit over time at 202 and a half hours of work. But don't miss the final episode, when that eventually comes out. Could be weeks, could be months, but I guess, uh, subscribe so you don't miss that. Yeah, I said the thing. Next time, we'll finally break through that endless forest, and trust me, the actual building on this level is way ahead of where the videos are at. The part after that is kind of insane. I may or may not have spent 98 hours on a singular background, anyway, here's a preview of the level, okay, bye!